Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, make sure to hit the subscribe button. My name is Mackenzie, and I am a sophomore fashion merchandising student at Kent State University. Today, I'm going to be taking you guys along a typical college day in my life. It's Tuesday, and I have class today. I only have classes on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and it's 9 a.m. I woke up about 20 minutes ago, just got dressed, and I am about to head out. I'm going to just do... A little workout not even a workout I'm just going for like a little over two mile walk um, this is what I've been doing every day just because I haven't been eager to go to the gym and work out like in a mask like just be around all these people I don't know I just have been totally content going on walks and it's getting my body moving obviously it's not burning a bunch of calories but it's making me feel good so I'm wearing a sports bra from buff bunny one of my favorites I wear this all the time my yellow seamless leggings are from she and they've got a really cute like cinch along the butt and then i'm wearing my everyday sneakers from new balance i literally swear by these guys i wear them all the time so my roommate griffith is about to come with me probably walk for 30 minutes ish which usually is a little over two miles that's the perimeter of campus and yeah i'll catch you guys when i get back i'm not going to bring my camera just because i don't have pockets good morning are you ready yes, how was your yoga it was very good. Griffith does yoga before she goes on the walk okay, with me. Griffith and I are back from our walk, obviously. Um, we walked a little over two miles, and then I came home. I just took a quick body shower, popped some curls in my hair, and did my makeup. Today, I'm wearing a romper from Shein. It's really cute. The back is open. It's supposed to be like 87 today, so I figured I would take advantage of the nice weather and wear something kind of cutesy. And then my earrings are from Walmart, and I've got on my mantra band cuff that I wear all the time. Um, it's 1020 right now and I am about to make some breakfast. Uh, I think I'm only gonna have a smoothie today just because it is already a little late. Usually I would eat before I shower and get ready, but I didn't today, so. I don't know guys this tastes pretty good i think this might be my best smoothie since i've been here it's the perfect amount of tartness anyways i have about 35 ish minutes before i head to my first head to my first class which is economics it starts at 11 so in the meantime i'm going to sit down with my computer kind of go through like my computer morning routine which is usually checking my emails checking my analytics from the day before on YouTube and my blog, um, my commission, how much money I made the day before. I kind of do like the same thing every single morning when I first log on. And then I'm going to print out the lab for my fashion fabrics class that I have right after economics. And then it will be time to head to class. I am so frustrated. I've been staring at this, uh-oh, your connection can't display videos screen for literally this entire class it feels like i've been in class for 50 minutes and blackboard keeps kicking me out and then i'll have to refresh it and then it will like show his screen in the powerpoint for like three minutes and then i'll go back to this so i'm having a really hard time following along in my economics class i've taken some notes but like this cannot happen it's so frustrating but the wi-fi here is just terrible i did just run down though and get um some lunch from lou she has chicken patties today we'll see how it is and then i just got some raspberries and a few chips okay guys chicken patty was delicious but my frustration levels are actually through the roof right now because my class isn't working so economics just got out and Thankfully, I could still hear him, but he actually records the lectures and posts them, so it's not really a big deal. Like, I can go back and rewatch the lecture and take down the rest of the notes later this afternoon, but my next class is Fashion Fabrics Lab, and it starts at 1220, and there's only 25 people in the class. The lecture I was just in is like 180 people, so we don't keep our cameras on like we don't talk at all he just lectures but my lab class like we break into small groups and i really can't risk not having internet so i just put my backpack on i use the north face borealis for those of you wondering and i'm about to walk over to the library student center somewhere on campus to just sit down it's gonna suck but um 
like you know what I mean there's nothing else I can do right now and I don't have unlimited data so I can't just keep hot spotting to my computer for like hours of time so here I go I just put some Jack Rogers on I look a little dressed up to be walking across campus off I go everybody at least it's nice outside it's super sunny and like 80 degrees right now so okay like it says in that this is a balanced plane weave under construction but i don't know where we would write that like on this sheet okay hand in texture this one's really opaque I would say this one has some luster to it. So I just got done with my fashion fabrics class and I submitted the lab and then I had one other assignment to do for that class. I just knocked both of those out. It's about 1.50 now and I'm still in the library like spot. I'm literally just like, I don't know, in a random corner. I never come to the library, but I told you guys I had to come here, you know, so that I could have Wi-Fi. So my sister Madison actually filmed a day in her life. You guys really requested this. You wanted to see her share a day in her life at Marshall. So she sent over the footage. It's about 35 minutes worth of footage and I'm gonna edit this right now. That way I can process this video and while it processes, I'll finish up taking notes and reading a chapter for my fashion retail industry class that I started yesterday. Um, I just figured this would be like a productive usage of my computer and my time here, so. taking notes for my class and I haven't completed my quiz and I just ran into a ton of different iMovie issues. My iMovie has like messed up ever since I filmed that um, recording that podcast with Lore. I don't know why so I'm trying to clear out my computer and like restart it and all those computer issues that I run into every few weeks. Today is just that day so that's what I'll be up to. It is 3.45 right now by the way. just finished up this week's fashion retail industry here are all the notes I took um, on chapter two kind of a lot but oh well learned a lot about different retailers and the difference between like supermarkets and off-price retailers franchises all this other cool stuff so um, just finished that up. It took me a lot longer than I expected. That happened last week too. I guess this class is just one that's going to take a few hours. Um, but literally all you do is read the chapter and take a quiz every single week. So I guess I can't really be surprised that it takes like three hours because that's realistically still less time than you would spend in a typical class, especially if you did have it in person and we're going in. So I'm about to actually place an order for my monthly express stuff they are having an awesome sale right now too which is great so i'm gonna go through do a little online shopping with my 100 dollars gift card and see what i can get i just heated up last night's leftovers having some shrimp and feta pasta and i grabbed a garlic breadstick from downstairs and i just popped on gretchen's moving blog um she and max you know moved in so i'm gonna watch that video while i eat today was Tuesday. Well, today is Tuesday. It still is. Jeez, I'm brain dead. Um, and so our cook, Lou, did cook for everybody, but it was like red sauce, meat sauce, and I'm not a big red sauce girl, so I opted out today, and I'm just eating leftovers from yesterday, so cheers. Alrighty, it's 7.45, and I am eating the last of my nightly ice cream. You guys, I have a whole new appreciation for drumsticks. Once you start paying for them, you start to cherish them even more. Um, but I'm finishing up my ice cream, and I just sat down. I'm about to start editing my first recruitment vlog. Hey, guys, I know you're freaking out because Ethan's right here, and I haven't talked with Ethan in a hot second, but if you're my loyal first 1,000 subscribers, you know 
know exactly who this wonderful person I'm, is. I'm camera shy, I swear. He's not camera shy. He knows the camera nah, loves nah, him. Nah, I'm lying. I just got lazy because I'm a little tired right now. Because, uh, Stop talking like that. <laughs> she, think, she thinks I'm talking ghetto because I live in Baltimore now. But I've talked to like, the, like literally talked like this my whole life. So she no, you're like, not. He doesn't talk like that. But anyways, Ethan and I are ranting to each other about each other's problems because that's the kind of friends we are. So we've been on the phone for probably, I don't know, an hour and a half now. Because that's what we do. We don't talk for four weeks, and then we talk for I'm not for speaking English right now because I'm currently, like, half asleep. Like, but, yeah. This is the end of the conversation. He just, he just wanted to make his appearance and let you know that he's not dead. Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday now, and I am logging on to my computer. It's 8 a.m., and I just woke up. Um, I actually stayed up until, like, 1.15 talking with Ethan and yesterday I feel like I was just in a funk like it was a funky day but Ethan called me just to talk about a tattoo and we ended up talking for literally an hour and 45 minutes and you know sometimes just hearing from someone from home makes you feel just better um I don't know it like really took away all of the badness of the day and I went to bed feeling just really grateful, really full of love, I guess, for our friendship and stuff. So it was really awesome to talk with him. If you guys watched my vlogs two summers ago, right before I started my freshman year of college, Ethan was in like every single one because I was going to all of his baseball games. He's one of my longest friends. We don't talk every day, but when we do talk, when we like we finally do reconnect, it's like nothing's changed between us. So it just was really awesome. Okay, I just got dressed and I am about to go for a walk with Griffith, my roommate. Again, just like yesterday, I'm actually going to bring my camera today because I have pockets in this Fabletic set. I love this one. I've only worn it like once, I think, just because almost all of my new workout wear that I got over quarantine, I've only worn once and it was for pictures because I wasn't working out when I was at home. So finally putting her to the test. I'm very excited full length leggings i believe these actually i don't know the name of the material sorry guys um so top and bottom from fabletics and then my sneakers are just the same new balance ones from yesterday and the back of the sports bra is really cool too there's no padding in the top but the back looks like this and it has like a little hook so it kind of hooks like a normal bra which is nice you know depending on what size chest you have i wear an extra small in their top and bottoms so here we go Okay, Griffith and I are on our walk this morning. We're walking throughout campus, um, but we're taking like a much shorter route today. Something easy. And we're coming up on the student center, and that's like where we cross the street to go back home. So, good morning. Okay, just made myself a little breakfast. I just whipped up two scrambled eggs with cheddar cheese just because, I don't know, I was in an egg mood. And then I made myself another smoothie. I'm on my smoothie kick lately. Um, this is strawberry, raspberry, pineapple, and then just a couple of mango chunks that I had left and some Greek yogurt and orange juice as per usual. Okay, okay, time to shower. Okay, everybody, just took a shower. I did my makeup. I'm actually gonna let my hair air dry today. I just have been using a lot of heat on it, so I'm just gonna let it air dry and then I'll pop some curls in it or something like that. Um, today, I'm wearing a top and shorts from Hello Molly. Super cute. Um, comfy bottoms too like they look really cute but they're really stretchy so I'll be able to sit at my desk and work pretty much all day so it's 10 30 now and I am sitting down to finish up today's blog post and do a whole bunch of worky kind of things I've been tending to switch over to schoolwork after lunch um, on the days I don't have class it's Wednesday so I don't have class today um, I still have to do schoolwork, but I'm going to switch over after lunch. My CVS blog post is going up today. It's a sponsored post, and I already have about 80% of it done. I just have to add the photos, the tags, and update a few links. And then I need to post my sponsored Instagram photo of the day with CVS and post the stories. So I have to do that, and then I have to send over a bunch of emails of collaborations that just finished up. So that is what I'm going to be doing right now. 
So today's blog post is all ready to go. Just sharing 10 beauty products I reach for daily. It's not very often that I share beauty related blog posts, but a lot of you guys have been asking for some of my everyday favorites. So I went ahead and shared some of the makeup products, beauty products, and hair care things that I reach for every single day. So you guys can check this blog post out if you want. My link to my blog is down below as always, but now I am going to go ahead and get my Instagram and stories up for them. Okay, just ate some lunch. I keep leaving my camera up here when I go downstairs to eat because I'm nervous and embarrassed to vlog in front of people. I don't know why, but it like kind of intimidates me to like let the boys that serve us and everyone see me talk to my camera. So um, maybe I'll get better about it in the next few days. I don't know why I'm not embarrassed of you guys. I just, you know, <laughs> um, get kind of nervy. So anyways, today we had mini pizzas which were delicious. Emily, what did you think? They were super good. They were very good, and then it was just like a pizza, like you kind of know when you go to the cafeteria and they give you like that pizza that's like this size, that's what it was. And then we, I had some strawberries and some raspberries and a little like blondie thing. So I finished up my CVS campaign for the day. I still have a couple of emails to send, but then I think I'm gonna pack up and head to the library because of course our Wi-Fi is being iffy. So I'm sitting up here trying to complete my astronomy classwork for the week. I am taking astronomy and astronomy lab. They are my final science slash core credits here at Kent. And like I said a million times, I'm taking this class just because people said it was a really easy class and it's such a joke, guys. Um, I just finished up taking the quiz. It's 11 questions and you have to get 10 out of 11 right and I got a 10 out of 11 in order to get 100% on it. So. I got 100% and then I answered the discussion board. Literally like a very short discussion board. All you had to do was like write three-ish sentences. And then we have to do these different activities, but literally all you do is like click through them. So basically I just read through these slides and then I keep clicking on this random thing. And then eventually you come to the end of it. It's really like nothing hard at all. And it takes about 10 minutes. She does give us notes and a few different PowerPoints to read through. However, it like you can complete the quiz and get 100% on it without really looking at the lectures or watching the videos. So who knows how beneficial they really are. However, when you do the lab work, you do kind of have to go back and like reference the lectures and the videos, but it's a very, so far, low intensity class. Like not a lot of time is spent on this class each week. I would say between the lecture and lab, the last two weeks, I haven't spent more than an hour on the two classes combined. So we'll see how long this week takes. Obviously the last two weeks were like the first few weeks of school. So maybe it was, they were just like, you know, taking it easy on us. We'll see how long this week takes me to get done, but if you are at Kent and you are looking for an easy science credit, so far so good, I do recommend it. And I will admit, astronomy is kind of interesting. A lot of it is really confusing, I'm not gonna lie. But learning about how the stars and the planets work is kinda cool, so yeah. Could be worse, could be bio, could be chem, could be physics. Okay, so I just finished up my astronomy lab work for the week. Basically, we had to print out, well, we had to have graph paper, but I didn't have any graph paper, so I printed a piece out, and we had to label all these different constellations in the North Star, and then we had to find a star and then track how it moves each hour. So here's what my paper looks like. Honestly, I have no idea if I did this correctly. I'm really hoping I did. I had to put the altitude and the latitude down here as well. And I really, guys, I hope I did this right. So I just submitted it. Um, and we are using this like website called Stellarium. Basically, you have to download this program to your computer and it shows you all of the different constellations and stars at a specific time depending on your location. So like, this is what the stars are gonna look like tonight. Well, I guess the constellations. This is what they will look like tonight at midnight. And then you can kind of set it ahead of time so I could see what the sky will look like six months from now if I really wanted to. There's like a way that you can go in and change the date and time. This kind of stuff is very confusing to me, I'm not gonna lie. Um, just because 
I don't really know much about astronomy yet, you know, because class just started two weeks ago. So fingers crossed, I'm sure he will give us feedback. Yeah, I just finished that. So now I am going to get started on writing my magazine article for the week. You guys know that I am a web writer for AMAG here on campus. My story this week is on how the bridal and like pageant industry has been affected due to the coronavirus. So a little bit more exciting of a topic this week than last week. Last Last week I had to write about the VMAs, but I'm really excited about this topic because I love prom designers. I work very closely with a lot of them um, over the last few years for prom, homecoming, and just like special event dresses. So I'm excited. Hopefully I will find some research on how this industry is going to be affected and I'm going to get writing, you know, just open up a Google Docs. It should be about 500 to 600 words. Nothing too crazy. I actually do like writing in a journalistic setting just because most of my blog posts tend to be a little over a thousand words like a thousand words is very average for me so it is kind of nice to have shorter writing and about different topics and more of like an informative setting I guess than casual writing so off I go to get started on that it's 3 30 by the way just for reference So I'm back at my desk right now and I actually ended up changing up my story idea a little bit. Luckily I had pretty free will when it came to this article. I found that there wasn't a lot of information on the gown industry and honestly I can't make up statistics obviously. So there was very little for me to work with. Ignore this. I had pretzels and peanut butter as a snack when I came back in here to charge my computer. But I ended up switching it up and just going the route of how the fashion industry is changing after the coronavirus and how it really will never return back to normal just because so many stores are going to continue utilizing influencer marketing rather than having rather than spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars getting photographers, makeup artists, stylists, models all in the same room and how online sales really are going to be the new thing. I know that online shopping has been around for like a decade already, but there are a lot of storefronts that will close it as a consequence of the virus and it will honestly change the fashion industry forever not even just the covid days so i went that route and i just finished up my article it's 5 30 now i got a little sidetracked while writing this obviously i had a few emails to send and then some payment slash excel things to figure out because one of the most tedious tasks about being your own boss is the financial aspect of it i hate that part of it just because i am no economist by any means um and then i ate some pretzels and peanut butter like i said earlier so that's what i'm up to hi emily how's dinner hi it was super good what, what, what was sweet and sour chicken it, it sweet was, and spicy it's called that but it was not Oh, okay. okay, so Liv and I are gonna go to a barrio tonight for dinner. I haven't seen her in a few days and we just want to catch up um, And my grandma gave me a barrio gift card last week. So I'm very excited. I want some tacos and Yeah, I'm excited. But anyways, um, I got a few things and I want to share them with you before we head out So first things first I got a new Fabletic set today and it is this super bright neon pink I'm absolutely obsessed with it and this is I forget the name of this material. I always forget about it. It's like Sculpnit. I think it's Sculpnit. And they look really tiny like when you hold them up. Like obviously my waist is bigger than this, but they stretch out so awesome and they're just extremely comfortable. I love seamless leggings and I think this neon pink is going to be really fun. I don't really have anything like this and Fabletics always has the best colors and stuff. So that set came today and then I had a ton of stuff come from Opali and I'm very excited. This is going to be my first time ever working with them. There will be a whole separate haul up but it's all loungewear like comfy. Like literally guys the highest quality pieces I've ever felt. They are so soft, so thick. You definitely don't have to wear a bra with any of this stuff. I got a bunch of joggers from them. I these They're like cropped joggers obviously. <laughs> I realize how short those look. Um, and I got a bunch of like cute little tops, some shorts, just like really comfy, cozy pieces in the most gorgeous pastel color palette. So I'm excited to film that video. Keep your eyes out. It will be, it will be coming shortly, but anyways, that's what's up. Probably going to just sit and scroll on my phone until it's time for me to go pick Liv up for dinner. My angel baby is with me and 
rap Oreo and <laughs> Liv is recording me. And we just crushed some chips and queso. As you guys can see, there's only two left. Liv's got a margarita, she'll tell you about it later. Okay, then I got a like some kind of chicken, pineapple, mango salsa, corn, and then this like spicy sauce. What did you get, Liv? She always gets the tofu. I got the barbecue tofu and pineapple salsa. On the side? Yes. But you got lettuce. And lettuce and some cheese. We'll let you know our rating after this, and we're not gonna forget today. I've been slacking lately, sorry guys. We are ready for our rating. I'm giving tonight, wait, I wanna hear Liv's first. I always like to hear my guest first. Okay. Um, my mark was a 10 out of 10. No, it's all together. Oh, all together? Meal and drink together. Meal and drink together, I would give it an eight. Okay, why? My food, the tofu is so spicy. I told McKenzie this earlier. It's so spicy, but the flavor profile, you can't beat it. So you just have to like deal with the pain while you eat it, but it was really good. Eight out of 10. Okay, eight I give 10. tonight a 10 out of 10. <laughs> Chips were good. I never oh. give tens, Liv. Never. The really? only place that I ever have given Kent a ten is um, Brico. But I'm giving really? tonight a ten because the chips were good. The taco was good, flavorful, the perfect combo. Sometimes there's like something off about it, but I got the dressing on the side today and that was good. Okay. And the company, fantastic, can't beat it. So 10 out of 10. Okay. And, <laughs> and tacos were a dollar off tonight, so it- Yeah, $2 tacos. My mark was only $3. I would only take off, like if I had to take off a half a point, I would take one off because I should have got two tacos. Like, but that's your own fault. But that's my own fault, so I'm giving it. Mackenz literally ate her taco. In I took one yeah. bite of my taco oh my and God. looked over and hers was gone. <laughs> crazy, actually. Hey, guys. Hey. Hey, hey guys. Welcome back to Stella Stella by Mackenz. Mackenz. We just spent from 7.30 until 11.50, or no, what time is it? 10.50. 10.55 talking, guys. Um, we've talked about everything under the sun. Emily helped me choose a bunch of different outfits for my big date night blog posts coming up for the fall time and it's all ready to go. So, you know what? We've been waiting to have a roommate night like that. You know where you just spontaneously sit and you get to know each other better and you just bond and you make those personal connections and talk about your mom and your dreams and your aspirations and love, you know those kind of things so it's been good you know what I was I didn't really have anything going on tonight so it was the perfect occasion for it I didn't have any editing to do nothing like that so yeah I'm gonna end the vlog off here I'm gonna start a new one tomorrow and do a Thursday and Friday vlog too so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video I know it's been kind of all over the place and that yesterday I was in a terrible mood because of all my technological issues but it is what it is. Hope you guys enjoyed and I will talk to you tomorrow morning. Peace out Girl Scouts.